Imagine a colossal bomber soaring through the skies, spreading fear in the hearts of all who see them. Armed with missiles capable of traveling at five times the speed of sound, these bombers can obliterate anything in an instant, leaving nothing but devastation in their wake. That's exactly the image that comes to mind when you think of the B-52 bomber. Nicknamed the Big Ugly Fat Fellow, or Buff, the B-52 is the most combat-capable bomber in the U.S. Air Force. Thanks to its high mission-capable rate, massive payload, long range, and ability to deliver both nuclear and conventional precision standoff weapons, the B-52 continues to play a vital role in the U.S. national security strategy. Recently, the U.S. Air Force revealed its plan to rely on two primary bombers by the late 2030s. The chosen aircraft are the cutting-edge B-21 Raider and the legendary B-52 bomber. However, with the B-52 being an aging workhorse, significant upgrades and modernization efforts are necessary to ensure it remains a powerful and reliable asset for future missions. These upgrades are not just minor tweaks. They represent a significant investment to keep this iconic aircraft relevant in modern warfare. Curious about the specific changes being made? Stick around. During World War II, the United States realized it needed a strategic bomber capable of carrying out missions globally without relying on foreign bases. In short, they needed an aircraft with a long operational range. To address this, a competition was held to find the right aircraft, and in June 1946, Boeing's Model 462 was chosen as the winner. However, even though Boeing's design was selected, they hadn't yet fully met the desired specifications. This led to several adaptations and refinements, ultimately resulting in the B-52. First entering service in 1952, the B-52 is now officially the longest serving combat aircraft in the world. Over the years, eight different variants of the B-52 have been produced, labeled from A to H. Today, we're focusing on the B-52H, as it's the only model still in service with the U.S. Air Force. As mentioned earlier, upgrades are crucial for the future of the B-52. What's happening now is the largest overhaul of the U.S. bomber fleet in more than a generation. The Air Force has embarked on a $48 billion project to modernize the B-52 with a specific focus on extending its operational life to at least 2026. The goal is to ensure the bomber can continue serving for nearly a century, far beyond its originally planned service life. The upgraded version of the B-52H has now been renamed the B-52J. The B-52H is an impressively large aircraft, boasting a wingspan of 185 feet, a length of 159 feet, and a height of 40 feet. It currently has a maximum takeoff weight of 488,000 pounds and a payload capacity of 70,000 pounds, allowing it to carry the most diverse range of weapons of any combat aircraft in the world. Powered by Pratt & Whitney TF-33 engines, the bomber is capable of flying at high subsonic speeds at altitudes of up to 50,000 feet, with a fuel capacity of approximately 182,000 liters. The B-52J is expected to introduce several key upgrades that set it apart from its predecessors. One of the most significant improvements is the replacement of the bomber's original Pratt & Whitney TF-33 engines with the new Rolls-Royce F-130 engines. The total cost for this engine replacement program is estimated to range between $11 billion and $15 billion. This new engine will enhance the bomber's fuel efficiency and range while reducing emissions and significantly lowering maintenance costs. Additionally, 
the Rolls-Royce F-130 engines will be quieter and produce less smoke, contributing to a stealthier profile for the B-52J. Beyond the engine upgrade, the B-52J will also feature a new radar system, replacing the APG-166 radar with the more advanced AESA radar. This will provide greatly improved radar range and situational awareness, all while taking up less space compared to the older, mechanically scanned radar. Along with engine and radar upgrades, the B-52J will be armed with new and even more powerful weapons, such as the hypersonic attack cruise missile. The HACM is an air-breathing, scramjet-powered cruise missile capable of flying at speeds exceeding Mach 5. Its ability to maneuver mid-flight makes it incredibly difficult for adversaries to intercept and shoot down. These upgrades are targeted for completion before the estimated first test flight of the B-52J, which is expected to take place in late 2028. This transformation is set to keep the B-52 as a cornerstone of U.S. air power for decades to come, extending its already remarkable service life. Today, only about 76 units of B-52 are still in service, all of which are the latest B-52H variant. Over the past decade, the mission-capable rate of these bombers has declined, currently at less than 60%. Despite this, the U.S. Air Forces is keen to further extend the aircraft life. Is it worth spending $48.6 billion on this project? Although the B-52 has been in the skies for more than 70 years, the U.S. military sees significant value in keeping it operational. They argue that upgrading the B-52 is more practical and cost-effective than starting from scratch with something new. Over time, the B-52 has taken on various roles, from long-range strategic bombing to potentially serving as a mothership for drone swarms. This versatility makes the B-52 a valuable asset in modern warfare, ensuring the U.S. Air Force stays competitive against global adversaries. With the right upgrades, the B-52 can continue to play a key role for years to come. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.